Good morning. I'm Michelle Irene with Making Memories with Michelle and today we're going to make a fun and quick background using my acrylic block, my soft sea foam ink pad, and then we're going to make a cute thank you card using the Be Thankful stamp set. So what I've done, and you can see I've been practicing here this morning, is I'm going to ink up my block with soft sea foam ink. And this is our largest acrylic block. And I have cut out a stitched rectangle um, out of shimmery white cardstock. I have my Stampin' Spritzer and I have it filled with water. And I'm going to just spritz this two or three times and then just give a light spritz to the paper. That way the ink has somewhere to go. And I'm just going to hold it here for a few minutes for that paper to absorb the ink. And then I'm going to lift it off. And that gives me a really nice, almost watercolor effect. And I'm just going to take my chamois and clean that off. Now, you can see it's just a little bit wet. So I'm going to grab a tissue and just dab at those extra water spots because I don't want it to look like it's pooled up. Now before we can stamp on it, we need to dry it. So I'm going to hit it with my heat tool really quick. And that does dry pretty quickly. Then using Tuxedo Black Memento ink, I'm going to ink up this large stamp. I love this bee. My team is the stamping bee, and so as soon as I saw this, I thought, oh, I have to get this. This is just too fun. And then I'm going to Put him on here. Now, let's make him stand out on the paper. I've grabbed some blends and I have, I'm using the darks in all of these colors. I have Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue, and Flirty Flamingo. Um, and the first thing I want to do is add some color right to his flower. And then with my mango, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to color him. And go ahead and go over those black lines, okay? Because they're black and that's just going to highlight that and color his face so he doesn't look like an alien because we did make him green. And I'm not going to shade or do anything with him. I'm just going to color him all one color. Then for my leaves on here, I have dark granny apple green. I love the blends because you can color in any direction, which if you're not a serious colorer like I am, I love to color, but I'm not really crazy and meticulous about it. Then being able to turn your paper for me and color in a different direction really helps. And then we're just going to add on some balmy blue to all the letters. And this, I love the shimmer paper. It gives everything kind of that shimmery look. But you can watercolor with it. And it just, I think it's nicer than watercolor paper, personally. It, 
I mean, it depends on what you're doing. But for a quick watercolor like this, it's wonderful. Oops, it went outside the lines. Don't tell anybody. When I first got the blends, I wasn't sure if I liked them. And it took me some time to practice and really figure out the use and why we needed them. Like I said, I wasn't a, I hadn't colored much, right? If I needed to color, I used our, our uh, markers, the stamp and write markers. But I was never happy because it showed all the coloring lines. And then once we got the blends and I realized this was like no line coloring, huh, it was the best thing ever. Because you're probably wondering why I keep turning the paper and not my hand. Well, part of it is I don't want my head in the camera and two, it's just easier for me. Okay, that looks so much better by adding the color. All right, and then I have a piece of Mango Melody and this just has a very small um, eighth of an inch, so really a sixteenth all the way around. And I do have fast fuse this morning. I can't find my snail, so I grabbed my old fast fuse. Just a sixteenth all the way around, so you just be careful there. And then I have a piece of Granny Apple Green. needs score. Four and a quarter. And I think that piece is too big. So I'm going to grab my trimmer really quick and make sure that we have it the right size. Ah, look at that. That was off. my scoring blade. And this is why I don't use the fast fuse. This one is... I had a refill when I was using it the other day, but this is why. Huh. Where is my snail? You know it's early in the morning when you're going to resort to glue dots on the back of your card, but they'll work just fine. She says that she can't get them off. And there we go. Very cute, very fast, and I really do like that background watercoloring. Thanks for watching. All measurements will be found on my blog today at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.